Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. Have you ever woke up one day and you're just in a an off mood? Uh, maybe you were uh, just depressed or despondent. Your your heart was weighed down. Maybe it was for some reason you don't even know. Maybe it came as a surprise and you don't really know why you're in that in that uh, state of mind, but you just are. Or maybe it's the case that you do know that something is happening in your life that's difficult. You're, you're struggling with it and it causes your heart to be weighed down. And maybe it's not just for one day. Maybe it lasts for weeks or months or years. You just can't seem to shake that feeling. What, what can we do in those types of circumstances? I think Psalm 43 and verse 5 might help us in considering this. There it says, Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why are you disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. There the psalmist says, You know what? Why is my heart so sunk down? It literally says in the original. Uh, why am I in despair? Why am I feeling uh, so gloomy today? And what's implied there is that he doesn't have to feel that way. He's questioning, why is it the case that I'm feeling this way? And he's going to give a way in which he can pull himself out of this, um, this gloomy state that he's in. He says, hope in God, for I shall again praise him. Uh, in other words, I can place my trust in the Lord and engage in worship of the Lord, and that will help because he is the help of my countenance and my God. He's the one who can help my countenance. He's the one who can give me a cheery disposition once again. But it falls back on this hoping in God and praising God that will uh, help him pull out of it. And so if we find ourselves in a gloomy situation, we can do what the psalmist determined to do. He said he's going to hope in God and, and he will praise God again. It's easy for us when we get in these various uh, gloomy um, situations to just kind of accept that as the way it is. That, you know, there is no way out. And sometimes our thoughts can even drive us further into despondency. And what this psalm teaches us is that we need some intentionality to say, you know what, why am I feeling this way? To, to have a, a, a moment in which we kind of shake our heads and say, what am I doing? Why am I feeling this way? Let me place my hope in God. Let me allow my thoughts to rise above the circumstances and situation that I'm in and focus on the Lord whom I can trust, the one who gives me hope, who has helped me in the past and can help me in the present. And, and can pull me through this darkness that I'm experiencing. And then I will praise him. I will again worship him and praise him. You see how the thoughts are being directed towards God and not so much the situation, the circumstance, or even the feeling that the psalmist is having. And this is a good way in which we can sometimes pull our, shake ourselves of that, uh, that gloominess, that dreariness that we feel, to say, you know what, I'm going to lift my eyes above. I'm going to lift my eyes above the trouble, lift my eyes above the struggle, and I'm going to look to a God who's trustworthy, who's faithful, one who is praiseworthy, and that's going to be my focus today. And that's what I'm going to direct my heart towards today. And when that happens, he will change my countenance from being gloomy and despondent to being happy and cheery because we know that we can... Uh, direct our minds and hearts to, and, and allow it to transcend the troubles and trials of this earth, this world. And so when we find ourselves in those various circumstances where we just feel gloomy and dreary, let's ask ourselves the question that the psalmist said, now why are you in despair, O my soul? And why are you disturbed within me? I'm going to hope in God. I'm going to trust in God. I am once again going to praise and worship the Lord. And that will help pull me out of this gloominess, this darkness that I'm feeling within. So let's put that to practice today, especially if we perhaps are waking up feeling a bit gloomy. Focus our eyes on the Lord, fix our eyes on God, on Christ, and allow our thoughts and our minds to transcend the circumstances we're in and allow that to
pull our souls out of the, the, the deep despair into having hope and trust once again. So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.